What's going on everybody? We are uh, going shallow today. 55, 60 feet of water. A lot of the fish, since the temperatures have dropped down, a lot of the fish have moved in. So this is a brand new spot. Something we've marked in our travels and it's like, hey, we should probably go back and check that because you see a show on the bottom. Hey brother, we got spade fish already up high. Heck yeah. That's a good sign. And Mike and I are going to go down and see what's here. Let's get geared up.
Isn't that wild? <laughs> Crazy smell. It never ceases to amaze me. They're not monsters, guys, but they're both legal. And we only had to go out to 60 feet of water to find them. Let's get these suckers knocked out before it gets dark. Hey, you want to show them what happens when that... Which foot was it? Oh, right here. That's what happens, guys. Ow! Almost did it again. You know, you're always telling me how perfect I am, babe, and then I go and do stupid <laughs> stuff like that. Well, there was that one time you said, <laughs> you said oh, one time, no, you know what? I was thinking of somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> my bad. Here, just let me fillet this fish. Nothing beats gag grouper and hogfish. up over the backbone, back down. I think I'm just gonna go right through the ribs. Such a very light bloodline on these guys. See, there's our rib bones and our pin bones are gonna follow this bloodline right here. So you can actually come in kind of like this. And now you're gonna hit the rib bones. A lot of people just cut it off right here and leave it all connected. But I'm gonna go through the pin bones just to get the rib bones out. easier on these smaller fish. There you go. Boneless, skinless filet. Now, come over to your station, darling. <laughs> so we're gonna take one of our Freezer bags, and we're going to freeze this whole piece just like that. You can just take paper towel, just tuck it right down in this tray in case you get any moisture, or in this case, fish slime. And catch it all. Stack it in the freezer. Just like that. So guys, if you might have noticed, we haven't done a video on our boat in a minute. So we broke the tilt and trim ram on it and it beat the thing up because we were 35 miles offshore when it happened. And uh, they're talking maybe by the end of February, which is kind of upsetting. But that's all right. We got friends that go out, so we're gonna utilize what our friends offer. And that's lots of diving, the occasional fishing trip. It's a nice sandwich right there. Now we, we put our uh, carcasses in here and then we'll stick that right in our chest freezer. We got courtesy of Hurricane Ian that somebody threw away 
because their house got flooded and uh, we were able to salvage it and it works perfect for freezing bait. But you need a boat to put your crab traps out and we don't have one of those. So we're, we're definitely collecting bait. When it comes time, we will be ready. As soon as we get our boat back, those traps are going in the water. Sometimes guys, you can just grab a hold of the tail, come backwards against the ribs. That works too. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen, guys. We are going to make something awesome. We have a uh, subscriber who spends most of his time taking shots at me in the comment section. I don't even think you know who I'm talking about. LD, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but he had a suggestion. We usually make crab meat stuffed grouper and stuff, but he was like, try lobster. I was like, man, we wish we could have found some lobsters. So we ended up just picking one up. It's already been steamed. We didn't find any lobster. Although that area, you'll see, I'll show you the clip here, is full of, we call it Swiss cheese bottom. And the lobsters love that, red grouper and lobsters. But you'll notice that the bottom has really little life on it meaning there's very little algae or coral. There's no color to it. So my thought is you can see along the edge of the ledge there, that still had a lot of life on it. Um, but as you, you look to where it's all the puck holes and the Swiss cheese bottom, the hard bottom, it was dead, completely no life. Now my thought is, is since the hurricane washed all that sand away and expose that bottom that you know in a couple of months it'll probably be teeming with life if it doesn't get buried again those ledges and stuff don't seem to get buried as quickly because the fish are constantly digging out the sand and and making their homes in there but so we've got this little main lobster here cold water lobster i'm gonna take him out of his shell and we are gonna make our stuffing for our grouper I don't know. Somebody should, say, should, did somebody say lobster? Yeah, lobster. He's just a little one there, B. Little one. We we probably wow. shouldn't put the crab meat in there too because that could be just entirely too much flavor. Someone's <laughs> head could explode. I don't know. I think you should go for it. All right, I'm gonna go for it. All right, let me get this cleaned up. So we've got our lobster and our crab meat. We're gonna add spinach, shallots, a little bit of. Uh, red bell pepper, and some garlic. Mix this all up, get a little lemon juice in there. Looking good. Now, let's add in some Italian breadcrumbs. I'm gonna throw a little bit of paprika in there sea salt, and some black pepper. Now, some Bahaba clam juice. This is my secret, guys. Don't be sharing it with nobody. It's the best. And then a little bit of melted butter. Last but not least, a shot of mayo. Help it fluff up when it cooks. We've got the oven preheating to 425 degrees. So that's your grouper. And I like to make this stuff moist so that it actually sticks together and you can smash it right down on the fish so that it stays on there. So you got that clam juice in there and the butter. Now the hope is that you can roll this sucker up and then boom, right down on our, our pan here, B. Look at that hogfish, man. 
Isn't that beautiful? Look at how white it is. Zero yeah. bloodline. All right, let's get this bad boy rolled up. Nice gag grouper. It's been a minute probably since you've had gag grouper. Yeah, it's been a long time. If it falls out, it falls out. That looks so good. You know what? We ought to start this one a little sooner because it's a lot thicker. Okay. I'll wipe these down with butter just to keep them from drying out in the oven. Hit them with a little bit of paprika. You can use smoked paprika. This is just regular. Now we've already got the uh, grouper in the oven because it's much bigger. So we'll have that in there for probably 10 minutes longer than this. Try these. So that's just a little bit of sea salt and basil. All right, I know you're not gonna raise your nose at any hogfish, so we'll just give you that. Brandon, hogfish. Thank you. That's the entire filet of gag grouper. Real quick, I'm gonna say grace, guys. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all of our blessings, dear Lord. And we just ask forgiveness of all of our sins, thought, word, and deed. And in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. That so, amazing. the stuffing. That's no olive oil or anything. So I put the salt on them like 15 minutes ago in the basil, and then that, it was coarse. And salt draws the moisture out when they're like dripping on the outside. Mm. Well, I guess we'll just leave this for Ben then. Ben said, make sure you save some for me. So yeah, couldn't find any lobsters, but as I was saying, that hard bottom is exactly what they like. But I don't think it's been uncovered long enough for them to find it yet. Plus we're, we're only in 60 feet of water, so I don't know. Pretty cool to find those spots. It was pretty much a brand new area that probably didn't even exist prior to the hurricane. I think that ledge part did, but... All right, guys, what do you think? Very good. Yeah? It's delicious. What one is this one? That's the hogfish. Wow. All right, LD. I guess your idea was a hit. Thanks, brother. Anyways, guys, that's what we got. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I guess we're gonna see you in the next one because we're out of here. <laughs>